uh, for me. And you never know what you'll remember. And uh, so she turned me on to a widespread panic, and I love that. And, and I talk about turned on. Okay, think about the phrase, it turns me on, or I was turned on to, or I turned them on to. It's a phrase from the 70s, basically, or maybe the late 60s, I think. You, you turn people on to bands, and, and you turn people on to songs, and you turn them on to drugs, and, 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 and a lot of other things you turn them on to, and, and, and things turn you on, you know, and it can mean several things. But just for this quick discussion right here, if we're getting some, uh, some doobies, it means to introduce, to turn on, to introduce, you know, so... You got to remember this from the uh, from the seventies. Tune in, turn on, drop out. There you go. I, I love the phrases from the seventies. Out of sight and far out are just a couple of them right there. Tune in, turn on, drop out. Counterculture term is what it is, and it's and that came from the world renowned Avatar of the Mind, Doctor Timothy Leary. He's the guy that came up with that. So in his mind, that says. Yeah, turn on means to activate your neural and genetic equipment, become sensitive to the many and various levels of consciousness kind of thing, you know, and tune in means to, uh, to interact harmoniously with the world around you, externalize, you know, materialize, express your new, you know, kind of thing and, and drop out in his words meant an active, selective, graceful process of detachment from involuntary or unconscious commitments. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so that's the official definition of tune in, turn on, and drop out. And that's never what I thought it was, and I don't know about you, but I still think of it as this. Tune in, turn on, drop out. So you put on an album, smoke some pot, and repeat that many, many, many times, then drop out of high school. See, that's what that always has always meant to me, and, and, and probably always will. I spoke with Dr. Timothy Leary in 89, He's the guy that told me drugs are good if you do good ones and do them sparingly. I wrote about that in the book. It's a Blade Radio Show. Let's do it, man. Stop it. 